Hi everyone, this is Sarah with Fine Line. Thank you so much for joining us back for another video. This time we're in Vienna. This kitchen was super different. What we did differently in this home was there was another staircase back there that we took out and chose to use the space in the kitchen, making it more symmetrical and gaining a little bit more of uh, walkways around the island. Um, this home had a few additions, as usual, that we had to work around. We ran into a little bit of a, an issue when we were doing this. We had to um, use a steel beam that we didn't take into consideration. We had such a long run, so we had to structurally really reinforce everything to make sure that it was obviously structurally sound and fit within what my design had scoped out. So I want to take you around and show you a few things. Uh, we chose to do a navy island, as you guys can see, and we matched a dining room to that, um, kind of tying in the decor so it, it looks a little bit more customized. Um, the finish on the cabinets has a linen finish, which is a hand-painted brush on um, paint that gives it kind of a not-so-new look that I love so much. Um, the client has four kids, so we had a few things that we needed to take into consideration. A 48 inch range, so everybody can get everything done at the same time. A 42 inch fridge that we paneled, that I think is so beautiful. So um, our client had a very specific, no use of brass. Um, but with the colors that we were choosing, gray and the blue, it was kind of getting a little bit cold. And I was trying to use something to warm up that palette. Of course, we have the wood floor that does a whole lot of warming up to the colors. But we added, as you can see behind me, the rope detail. And that is warm enough. It has the same wood tone colors um, that gave me enough warmth. Tied in the slight, slight brass on the knobs of um, the range. And um, another focal point was we only wanted to see one appliance on the main line. So that is the range. So the range is metal, as you guys can see, stainless, and it has a little bit of um, the brass, like I said earlier. But then we chose to panel the fridge and panel the hood, so that way they're kind of inconspicuous. Um, and you only see one thing when you walk in and not so many metal accents and so forth. A few bonus things that we did in this kitchen is we created on this back wall kind of a beverage station. It incorporates a ice maker slash beverage center. So two in one, we have another prep sink here. So the client doesn't need to go all the way to the island to get water, to make their drinks or and so forth. And on the other side, we had a staple that is in all my kitchens now, a drawer microwave. Um, why I like a drawer microwave is because it can be tucked into the base. It does not have to be above the hood, which is aesthetically so unpleasing. So you want to kind of tuck it away, but of course you need it. Um, and being in the base, a drawer microwave is more convenient because you can access it from right here versus trying to bend down, open the door and get into it that way. So it kind of opens to you and you access it from the top. Um, lastly, Another way to warm up the cold tones is wicker. As you guys can see here, the wicker stools add so much warmth and um, that gold that I wanted with everything without actually using brass or gold. Um, finally, if you guys want a dream kitchen like this one, please contact Fineline Kitchens. Thank you so much for watching.